Hello and welcome. My name is Michael and today I'll be giving a short review of the ACR on Modern Warfare 3 and we'll be covering certain aspects of it such as gun stats, the best maps for use, and suggested classes. So let's get started. The ACR is one of the most accurate guns in the newest installment of the Call of Duty series. There's no doubt many of you already use the assault rifle and have found plenty of success in your matches with it. However, this gun brings many statistics which you may not know about that may be the underlying reason you use the ACR and don't even realize it. And for those of you who do not regularly use the ACR or simply have not unlocked it, we'll learn plenty about this gun and its advantages and disadvantages. The ACR is unlocked at level 50, so you definitely have to put in a little work to reach this goal. The ACR also carries 30 rounds for each magazine you load. It brings moderate damage and has a 1.90 second reload if you reload in the middle of the clip. It has a 2.50 second reload if you used up to starting 30. Apart from that, the ACR also has a .30 aim speed, which is the speed at which you can raise your gun to aim down the sights. The ACR also has a moderate rate of fire and most of all, stunningly low recoil. Now I said the ACR has a moderate rate of fire, as well as moderate damage, but in most cases this gun cannot fare up close and personal in close quarters combat. The rate of fire, while it is decent, does not compare to the rate of fire of most SMGs or the damage of the shotguns. Because of this, it is advised you carry a secondary perfect for the situation you are going to be in. Now let's get on to the class setups. A personal favorite of mine, and what you might call a tryhard class, is based mainly around stealth and medium ranged engagements. Using the attachments for efficiency, you can have both the silencer and extended mag on at the same time. The silencer adding that stealth ability and extended mag adding a great deal of extra rounds, 15 to be exact, which equals to 45 rounds, a perfect amount for triples, maybe even a multi-kill. For the secondary, a sidearm such as the 44 Magnum with Akimbo would do good, as the fast animation between switching guns would allow you to engage in close ranges with a much more efficient weapon up close. Equipment choice is mainly up to you. It can be pretty adaptable depending on game mode, style of play, and so on. For this class, a frag or semtex is recommended, and a flash or stun is a great choice. The perks of any class are going to decide what style the setup will play like. Scavenger would prove to be useful when you are reaching for those higher killstreak combinations. Assassin keeps you off the radar and is a great combination with the silencer, both providing that stealthy edge we're looking for. Marksman is one of the most useful perks in the third tier. Don't be fooled into thinking this is a sniper perk. Marksman makes the target's name appear at a much longer distance, and with this you can see your enemy nice and clear from afar. The strike package you choose will also affect the playstyle of the class setup, as using the support package will not compare to trying to get a MOAB on Specialist, for example. In this loadout, Assault is usually the best option. The Predator Missile is the first killstreak you should have selected, with the Attack Helicopter and AH-6 Overwatch closely behind it. When you create your killstreaks like this, every other kill after the fifth will be another killstreak, and most times a Predator Missile will help you to your Attack Helicopter, and your Attack Helicopter will contribute to your Little Bird. A slight variation would include the Predator Missile, the Reaper Drone, and the Pavelo for the more advanced players. So that's it for the loadout. Let's head on to the maps best designed to fit the ACR style. Many people make the mistake of picking their favorite setup for every map in every game mode. This is usually not a good idea. Not only can your opponents catch on if you play in a lobby long enough, but none of the guns in this game are versatile in every situation. For example, using the Striker on Liberation won't be very effective in most cases, so it would seem important to show a few recommended maps for which to use the ACR. Mission may be one of the best suited maps for the ACR. There are many sightlines on a map like this, and the only place you should avoid is the center. It won't guarantee your death if you head in there, but it's a bit tighter than it is the rest of the map. The best tip for this map would be stay on the edges of the map. Many people don't expect you to be going around the center, where most of the action lies. This can give you a great opportunity to get behind their backs and get a few kills. On top of that, Marksman will guarantee you will see any incoming enemies at the distance before they notice you flanking. Village is another great open map. The only big difference in this map from Mission would be that there is no real definite place of action always occurring. The combat is always in different places, so you might find yourself trying to track down the action. This can prove to be fatal when you get impatient. Fallen is considered by some a sniper map, but the ACR can really take control here, especially with the assault package on as you could wreak havoc to all your aggressors. It's a very open map, but has quite a few sightline disruptions. Other than that, you could easily keep your enemies at a distance, and unless they have a sniper, they won't be able to do much. Outpost is a bit less open than the other three I mentioned, but this map works wonders sometimes. 
As long as you understand the choke points, you can lock down a position easily and effectively. The middle of the map usually has a decent amount of traffic, so that would be a good place to check often as you rack up your kill streaks. There are a lot of hidden enemies on this map, so be careful and make sure to check areas with your marksman by aiming down the sights in locations in which you think enemies might be. These are the four best suited maps for the ACR, but not only limited to these four. Bakara is a crazy map for the ACR, as well as Interchange, Black Box, Liberation, Resistance, and Lockdown. The general pattern you want to look for in maps to use the ACR is how open the map is without jeopardizing your own position. The ACR is a gun every Call of Duty player should have in his custom classes. It is a great gun for beginners to start out with and for experienced players to get better with. The unparalleled accuracy will keep you on target and the damage behind will make sure you get the job done. Quite possibly the only real downside to the ACR is its mediocre close range capability. But this can be corrected with the equipping yourself with the proper secondary before the match starts. With all of these things, you are now ready to improve upon your skills and handling of this gun and it shall prove to you over time what it can really do in the right hands. Stick with it and don't let go, this gun will not let you down. Be sure to subscribe guys and if you'd like to see another gun review let me know in the comments. I appreciate your feedback and I will definitely take your thoughts and ideas into consideration. If you have any personal favorite classes for the ACR, be sure to post them in the comments as well, as it's always a great way to see what works for your playstyle. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.